Wow. Is this the new king of the garden hose foamers? Hey there, Internet Keith here, and welcome to the Cars and Keith YouTube channel. And Sun Magic reached out to me after seeing a video of the Gilmore Foam Master. And this is my most popular video by far. Just an amazing product I found on Amazon. All brass, just great output for a garden hose foamer. I mean, you can only go so far with foam, but it's just as effective. It's just not as cool, I guess you would say. It does have its downfalls, obviously this cheap plastic piece here, but the Sun Magic has some big shoes to fill. Now, normally I don't respond to most emails because most products just aren't great. And I really like to uh, review great products that I know are probably gonna be pretty good. It's just not fun to film crappy reviews. So this spill right here, I saw it on the website and I was like, all right, this is up my alley. Look at how much metal there is. And you're gonna be surprised when I go in depth and really close how thick the plastic is. And this thing is a little hefty. And just the overall design with this massive quick disconnect. I mean, it's just so much. And as you know in the videos, it's just, I would nerd and geek out on this kind of thing. So let's get right into it. All right, here we are up close and personal. And the first thing you'll notice, even with an empty bottle and this heavy spray gun at the end, it's very sturdy and won't fall over. This is my biggest gripe about the Gilmore. When full, doesn't really do that. The amount of liquid that between the two, this has way more capacity. So at the very front, there's a tip right here. And inside this tip is where the little mesh filters are. There's three of them. You would just take these out and then clean them up, put them back in. They're stainless steel, so they're not gonna crow, they're not gonna go bad. This is the main part of the tip, and you'll just see, this is just a delivery for the soap, but look at the thickness of the plastic. That is just high quality. Now check out how thick the metal is. This is anodized aluminum. You can tell it is either milled or laved. It's not a mold. And you see at the top, there's a siphon hole. I've asked about this. This is basically to help siphon the air out. Now on the back side, we have that massive quick disconnect. They still believe that the spray pattern of the sprayer is being interrupted by the quick disconnect. So they made it as big as possible so when it sprays, the walls of this don't interrupt the spray pattern. The handle, it has adjustability and it's really nice. The only complaint I have is this gets really loose when you loosen it up, when you want like a wider fan. It's nice and conforming ergonomically for your hand. And just look at that how thick the walls of that metal are. Now this is not uh, made in the USA, but it's designed and assembled. So obviously they sent these parts off somewhere to get created, but they put it together to ship it in the USA and it's designed by a US company. Look at how thick the walls are on the bottle top. And you have your tube and you have a nut here that you could take off so this can come off as well if you wanna clean it up. And this bottle, nice and big, big neck, just really nice. So you can get this right now on Amazon for about 40 bucks. Now they've already told me to make sure that everybody knows that at some point it will go up to $50 uh, and once they get enough sales and reviews. Uh, so right now would be the best time to go ahead and grab one. I mean, this is a solid unit for 40 bucks. For 50 bucks, it's up there. It really is. Uh, the adjustability is the one thing that I just don't know if it would keep me using it as my full-time foamer. They said they wanted the simplest form possible for the user to not have to worry about adjusting uh, the ratio of soap here or adjusting the fan left and right. Having that fan spread creates a stream that doesn't shoot far enough. And when people are using it on really big SUVs, big vans, or anything like that that required them to reach up really high, they couldn't get the fan to like go to the other side of the car or even reach the middle of the roof because the stream had been spread out so far that it couldn't shoot far enough. So let's roll right into the testing where I use W4 from G-Technique. You can use code Heidi10 to get any of their products on their website. Just amazing stuff. Let's check out the foam. So the instructions say one to one and a half ounces for every 10 ounces of water that you have in here. This holds 50 ounces. We actually have a little more than one ounce for every 10 ounces. So there's like 45 ounces of water and five ounces of soap. Using my zero filtered water right here, 
does really good for making foam. Now, like we said before, there is no adjustments to this. It's just a stream. It's designed specifically to be as simple as possible. So let's kind of see what this is gonna do. And this is the very first time I've ever sprayed this gun. So we're about to find out all together. <laughs> wow. That's pretty thick for a garden hose sprayer. That's that's right up there with the, the Gilmore for sure. I'm kind of liking this. I didn't know how I was going to feel about this stream. But I'm feeling pretty good right now. I mean, if you're going to mitt wash a car or do anything, this is, this is good. This is the same kind of foam consistency as the Gilmore but the Gilmore has that fan spread. So it spreads out differently and gets a little, it gets more bubbles in the soap. This has a lot less bubbles and the foam is really sticking to the car actually a little bit better. Now let's show from further away, just like the Gilmore, when you turn sideways, the weight of the bottle, it's very tight in the beginning, but this actually does work loose. As always with the hoses, I always run the brass shutoff valve. So I want you to see what it looks like from far away. The reason it designed it like this is with the stream, as they said, for taller cars, SUVs to reach the roof and everything. When you have it like this, you can foam really high and that allows you to get foam and it's easier to put the foam in the car and just kind of let it run down and coat the car. With the Gilmore, the fan spread was really nice and wide, but it didn't shoot very far. You had to get really close to the car to spread your spray. This actually works pretty good. So I'm kind of up in the air. I really don't know what I like yet. I'm going to have to use this a lot more to figure it out. I am learning that the best way to lay this down is to lay down a stream at the top and then let it go a little bit and then hit it in the middle and then let it go down a little bit let it go down more now since this doesn't have any adjustability from a soap standpoint like the Gilmore where you can go to four, six, eight, 10, 12, I believe is what it is. And it's like an ounce, 12 ounces per gallon or something like that is what the Gilmore does on its highest setting is if you want to do a pre-rinse that's thinner and then later on a much uh, thicker soap, you're going to have to use different dilution ratios. You can't use the same bottles worth of foam or soap to do two different tasks. This is how it rinses off fully tight. This would be my other method, just to back it out about three quarters. See your mist, adjust your mist, about like that. So what did you think? Is it the new king of the garden hose foamers? Now the verse cut out for me yet. I don't think it's quite as good as the Gilmore for me because I like that adjustability. But that doesn't take away from the performance of the device and the part of the market that, that's, that they're trying to reach is not necessarily people like me because I just want everything to be extra. Uh, but for somebody who's going out there and they just want to hook up their garden hose, spray the car down, foam it so the neighbors can look at them. What's that guy doing over his driveway? Why is there so much soap on the car? You can be that person easily with a few ounces of soap, fill the bottle up, connect the hose to it and spray your car down. I don't gotta worry about adjusting what I need. I don't gotta worry about changing my fan. I'm just gonna shoot the car and cover it with foam. Exactly what it does. It does exactly what they mean it to do. High quality metals and plastics just right up my alley for that for sure. And it's definitely gonna be in the arsenal 
and I hope to use it and, and expand on its uses and hopefully maybe even, you know, hack it, you know, or whatever sometimes I do with products or find a specific use for it that'll be really good. So check the Amazon link below. They also have a website uh, as well if you want to go check it out. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. You know, when you, you have a bunch of keyboards like, oh, <laughs> just, come on, man. Wow. How long is this ring going to be? Because that is loud. Oh, good. It's raining for the next two hours. An empty, uh, empty tank, empty bottle. In the bottle, like I said, this. <laughs> really? A little less. God. My zero water from this filter right here. God. What are those kids doing over there? We filled it up to the top line here. We already had five ounces in it. God. <laughs> There's gonna be bloopers on this one. <laughs> Neighbors.